Now you see, this is where the fun begins. Since I still don't know whether or not I'll be uploading these, I don't have any problems just watching some videos while playing. I could wear earphones, but I don't like earphones. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Ah! What are you doing here? Oh, oh this. I, I, I know it looks bad, but just listen. I'm playing with the gunshot app on my phone, and I pulled the trigger and made a funny noise, and this big rich guy struck dead. I'm not legally responsible for this, am I? Like, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm going to jail, aren't I? Fast. I'm too cute for jail. Here, let me get him into this dumpster. Okay. Gotta figure out what to do next. But yes, I had to steal his clothes. That's part of my new plan. This guy wants me still spending money on time. One more question that he's dead. So I gotta buy some stupid crap so people think that I'm one of the elite. <laughs> I'm going to Rito and getting my horse there. I'll get plenty. Of shrines for stamina. By then. Oh, 
I'm adding a bonus rule that I'm not allowed to use any armor that I wear after I die. Extra incentive for me to not die because I. Yes! 
the world for some total of six wow. million dollars. I don't even think a gumball analogy is appropriate at this point. At that point, you could have hung about the planet and know what 24 million dollars that that planet would have cost. One step further. Special edition is so dumb that it being real is a spit in the mouth of reality itself. Did you spend 10 billion dollars on a game? Obviously not, because no one bought Dying Light Spotlight Edition. That's right, building a stupid house wasn't enough for them, and they came back swinging for the game's following expansion. For a cool 40 million gumballs, you got it rolled in the Dying Light Spotlight Did you really eat the Cheetos from your shirt and paper gum from your various gamer holes? You look in the mirror and say, Movie Star. Not only that, but you are now the main character of the game, as you replace Roger Craig Smith as the voice of Kyle Crane. Not only do you put the poor guy out of a job, then he has to coach you on how to do his job. Well, look on the bright side. Now you can brag in bars that you're the Kyle Crane. Look what we're gonna change up panties for all the ladies you'll be impressing. Zombie FX experience, opera, driving course, parkour training, all is well and good. What I want is for something really, really dumb. Get a personal trailer on the set of the movie, because that's not how we're this bread, right? Technically, I hate to the movies from here. Someone aside from Rod Drake, he's on hard times, he lost his job for money. Get an original copy of the movie script and find you just don't get one. To go on the screen tour of the movie so you get to spend every night for the next month watching the Dying Light movie. <sighs> this is an incentive, right? And more copies of the game in case you mistake the Mercury for Gumballs. Good thing enough, this didn't get bought. Until now! Bullshit. But is it five hundred dollars cool? Sometimes financial responsibility should take a precedent over fandom. Why did I even uh, engage him? No. This is personal now. Convenience has arrived. What? I'm running. I'm running as fast as I can.
electric wizard. Why? There's a guardian as well. I don't know where. I don't know how. Oh god, there it is. Lightning rod is way too useful to pass up. I'll go get it. Shock arrows, too. Shrine around here. Eek. Strength, which I can definitely take it. The online coffee company that makes the perfect coffee for game time. <laughs> Since I actually like coffee, unlike Bob, I can confirm that this is good coffee. Yeah, but I, I have tried the decaf, and it is good. They also have a limited treasure realm coffee that comes with a set of dice, 5 e magic item, and a limited edition stickers. And Many Worlds Tavern donates a dollar per game purchase to gaming-related nonprofits. So be one of the first 100 people to use code DOB. Now, for those who were worried we're not trying to win in real life, our one of the top responses on that is don't like or even don't like a wizard in their body. And here's the thing so many creatures have points of resistance for a mule. Many people said this, I've heard it said for years. Surprisingly the greatest, old damage. The wild part of it is that the number of creatures immune to poison damage is almost on par with the number of creatures immune to acid, cold, fire, force, lightning, necrotic, psychic, radiant, and thunder combined. That is really weird. We definitely need to correct for that massively skewed immunity to poison, and I have two simple ways we can do it. One, use other damage types. It's a magical world, and there's no reason a poison that raises a creature's body temperature shouldn't cause fire damage. Psychic damage could apply to any poison that affects the target's mind, 
And Necrotic also feels like it should play a bigger role in this department. A poison that affects a creature's electrical signals in their nervous system could arguably cause lightning damage. Basically, there's a lot of wiggle room here. Yeah, so that's still just two blocks from Laser of Guardians. Idea number two Black. is to avoid damage type altogether and focus your poisons on conditions. Remember, that poison immunity is just for the poison damage type, so other effects, including the poison condition, can still apply. No Useless. More creatures have immunity to the poison condition than any other condition, too? Okay, yeah. Here's how we can solve this part. While poison on the basic rules use other conditions, like blinded, incapacitated, even the state of not being able to knowingly speak a lie, they always block those conditions behind the poison condition and always include a saving throw. So creatures immune to the poison condition don't even have to worry about these secondary ones, and everybody still has a chance to avoid it. And that's fine. There should be a chance to avoid the effects of most poisons. But hear me out. Let's just say... Your character harvests the petrifying venom of a cockatrice. Risky. I have had players in my game do that before. If that extracted venom is then applied to a weapon or slipped into a target's wine, the target is technically being poisoned. But do you think that target should have to save against a poison condition? I definitely do not. They should just save against the petrified condition, like how it works when the target is being bitten by a cockatrice. So I think. When a target ingests or is otherwise attacked with poison, they should just be poisoned or not, depending on the substance and their immunity to the condition. Then, they only have to save against the other, more dramatic conditions that could result from the exposure to this poison. Now, the other big problem brought up in that thread is that poisons are expensive. And they're right. The cheapest dose of poison listed in the basic rules is cost Oh god! I've never gotten that car off scene before. For a single dose. On a fail check, the character is unable to extract yep. any poison. If the character fails to check by five or more, the character is subjected to the creature's poison. Okay, I actually like the risk and reward here, but this risk is way too high for this reward, for a single dose especially. I would totally have the crafter suffer those effects on a natural one, but most people don't actually like using critical fumbles, so. This whole penalty idea is just kind of counterintuitive. However, if the crafter exceeds the DC by 5 or 10, it could automatically harvest a second dose of poison. And since this part isn't explained anywhere in the rules, I'd say a creature could have a total number of available doses equal to half or see all of them. Nani. Get the car off. No, why?
Got it. Run. You bastard. Oh my god, why? If you want to know the best Stop it. Weapon, check out this video on the worst weapon in the game. Trust me, that makes sense. And thank you for your Racing against the clocks for a cure. Get your ass together, Bob. skills. Jeez, that is an absurd amount of range and speed. Uh, 
uh, back when I played him with Andy Restrict, and I lost because I couldn't get my reinforcements back in time because all the damn rain was clogging up everything. It reduces all your movement of your vehicles by half, basically, on planes and forests and whatnot. Your infantry are fine, your, your planes and stuff are fine, your air units, but, they, but your, all your vehicles, your recons especially, your tires, you're going to get stuck in that mud, bro. It's a lot. The tread, the tires, everything gets basically half movement. I'll put the little chart here so you can see how much the rain does. It's not as overpowered as snow, okay? It's not cold on my head. But the rain is really annoying. If you have a devastating attack, and he wants to come back and do a little. Hey, okay, I just died, didn't I? I'm naked. Like I should be naked again. Done, my bad. Slow down that counter -attack. Break is beast to fight I can't Especially use those armor anymore. Make an attack, then use the fog, and then you won't be able to see where you attack from. There's a whole bunch of things. The rain is a big thing. So that's great. Basically, Indian Drake is a toss up, but the more planes and the less roads, the more overpowered. I keep my weapons though, otherwise, I'll, I'm just never going to recover from the death. Because you have better air units. However, the more planes, the more forests, the more crazy terrain there is, the better Drake comes. On this map, it's kind of a toss up. I'd say Andy is better because there's more roads here. There's a good amount of planes as well, but. Reinforcing from these two, there's no roads connecting these, so there are definitely slowdowns of vehicles. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting slightly better. Which I think is not awesome as well. Power. I understand the Drake thing as well because typically when you have four bases or more, you want global damage because it's going to do more damage to more units. Four, you know. More units on the field, more global damage from doing two damage to every single unit. There's 40 units doing two damage to all 40 of those units right there. So I understand the appeal of global damage. Uh, so yeah, this could be an interesting matchup. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's get into this game. This game is Nettie. And the green is player one. We have Steel. He chose Andy. His opponent, Steezer. Steezer, Steel. Steezer, got the Drake player. Anyone's game? Really Maybe I need to throw it. away one random so weapon. That might be funny. I'll do it next death. Recon interrupts are right here. Can interrupt a lot of properties over here. Is red. You can interrupt some greens properties before you get over here. Likewise, you can do the same over here. Recons, I love recons. I love recons. Because I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. Until I die. So, let's see what we got right here. Looks like green. I would go for this property right here first. Like, it's closer. Like, uh, may as well team. finish the main after this first quest before thingy back. before doing after the divine beast. Again after that. Seems like green is instead going for this property of the I just want the horse. Not though. a baboon brand move, but like a lesser degree, like a um, I'll go get to uh, monkey mind and then mind I'll move. go you know, kinda of feel like you get the chain over here. Yeah, I'm with it, the horse. I feel like this chain's better, you get the turn turn earlier. Just a nice little chain right there. Doesn't seem to opt for this early one goes over here instead. Also seems to go for this one a little later. We'll see what red does. Red seems to be doing a little more standard, going for this chain here first rather than going over here. I like that. Uh, green is being more aggressive over here. I like that. You probably want to get this one. I get that one first, then this one second. I agree with that move, so we'll see what happens. But pretty standard for the most part so far. Uh, Caesar could not afford a recon yet. I would get a recon here to punish this if I were him. But it's too early. If you could get one here, that'd be such a nice blow. Uh, but lucky for Mr. Steel over there, Caesar cannot afford a recon yet, because that would interrupt that one turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 I forgot about okay, the shrine thingy. Okay. Well, the recon would take a little time to get there. Okay, I get it. But the recon's still good. The Gustillo's recons, as one philosopher once said. Anyway, <laughs> what the hell is going on over here? So it looks like he's going for the, uh, the airport chain. So this is why we're not talking 300, we're not talking 1500, we're not talking 1050s. This is a, this is, this, now we're in the baboon brand. This, like, this is, that monkey is off the chain, like, should've gone for this chain, should've gone for this chain after that, now going for this random ass chain that is definitely going to be interrupted by recon. You gotta get a recon here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can interrupt in one turn with a recon here. So if I'm Steezer, buddy, ooh, that old geezer Steezer, he better be real than a Riki this turn. He's got enough funds, he's got six, no. Honestly, 
consider a base skip here. That would be pretty brutal. I'm not going to lie. I would consider a base skip now. Skip one of these two right there and build a recon to the top. I don't think he's going to, but I would consider a base skip. Uh, he's not going to do it. Uh, that would have been nutty as Never mind, that so, shrine isn't worth it. He's got a little bit of murder. Not murder, just a little second degree of homicide. Um, so. See, these guys don't go for the comp tower early. This is another smart to lose. So they do know some basic skills. And if you don't want to go for comp tower early, it does not provide income. This provides power power bonuses. And you only use fire power bonuses when you fight. And no one's scratched each other yet. No one's even, like, pushing each other yet. There's no... I'm not going to close yet. It's going to take a while to fight start. So I assume this next infantry is going to cap that. And this next infantry over there is going to cap that. So Why? that's what I expected at least. No recons. Could have gotten a recon as green right here. I would oh, like to see recon. Just force a tank. I just love the recons, man. Recon's underrated unit. I'm gonna do a series of recons soon, so be prepared. Uh, recons. Show them some love. See, this is just dumb dumb right here. Let's see what uh, Steezer builds a recon this turn. You should. Or a tank or something. Nope. Just a tank in the middle. I don't know where anyone's gonna go. I guess over here to stop this. I'm just trying to, like, airport knock him or something. I don't know what this green move over here is. It doesn't make sense to me, but. I guess you can do a two hit KO, maybe? Actually, I mean, it's a it's a roll for a two hit KO. Two infantry is attacking from a uh, plane in the road onto this base right here. Even with the comm tower, you need twenty percent firepower to guarantee uh, two hit KOs of infantry. On how? So, why? It's not happening. It's only like a thirty percent chance, so I doubt that we're going to see that interrupt here. That's why I go for this property first, then you go for the back property, because then you got these little annoying little interrupts, and you can get artillery over there, and then you're locked. And then you can get a mech in the mountains, and then you're locked, and then you can't. That's why you go for this baddie first, and then the back one, then you get these two, then maybe you go over here. I don't even know what's going on over here for green, but, you know, steel, 1492, or that's what the number says in my brain. Oh my god! I dyslexic brain, apparently. Uh, so, steel. Still not going for these properties over here. Man, steel is going hard as a mother clucker over here. He is a monkey, and he is a chicken. Hard as a mother clucker and baboon brain in it. So, Steezer. Old Geezer Steezer, what's he got in the bank? What's he gonna do with that tank? That uh, rhymed on actually. Gonna get that airport very easily. I mean, you can try to do it to a kid. He's... Oh, yeah, I meant to install a thingy. That airport, uh, getting, letting me get that airport. But if I were as soon as Steezer, I, can I would've built get a break. trying to make sure that none of that dumb shit happens, because this tank's From probably all gonna these come into the airport for the tank, but... Looks like he's trying to airport lock him, which is a little strange this early on in the match, but what have you. Sometimes another idea is you can get an artillery here to lock these uh, bases over here, but it doesn't seem to happen very much. The worst thing you could possibly do on this map is try to base lock the two base. Like if you bring your two, your three different opponent, you try to attack these, you try to base lock, don't fight in the belly of the beast. That is literally how you lose games. That is. These games are usually won by either capturing both laps, or just getting a huge income advantage, or like base locking this, or base locking this, maybe even base locking the corner. Most often you see base locking this one and this one over here because there's the two bases. I'll take closest. it. This is a little bit farther to base lock that. So typically you see a base lock from these two to get that, and vice versa, so. But we'll see what he's, what we see. Not allowing this, uh, he's gonna get a 2 KO on this entry. That's a free entry right there. He's probably gonna build a tank though, so we'll be doing the entry, but. <laughs> This tank opting to go over here, rather than put some pressure over here, which I would probably have preferred going over here because he wants to defend this property, I suppose, but it means he's going to get that, and he's going to get this one as well. I think these two are pretty safe for red, in my opinion, because this is a weak little one base over here. Billy the Beast, baby. I'm going to say Billy O B O T B, baby. B O T B. You're not going to go fight in the B O T B. Recon, late, and after the opponent build a tank. So I don't really like it anymore. You had your window, smashed it to smithereens, the glass shattered everywhere, and then your window off opportunity. You should have built it like three, four turns ago. Four turns ago is day one. You know, you should have done it a few turns ago. You should have built a day one recon. Uh, so... <laughs> gotta, you know, just get your recons earlier. I'm not counting days, but get it earlier when you can do some pressure. Looks like they have more luck than like, what is this gonna do? Should have built a tank. He had enough money for the tank too, but he wanted a tank chain. I understand. Tank chain, tank chain, everyone wants tank chains. Like two chains, like you got your two tanks, I get it. Building getting this comp tower extremely late, by the way. I just noticed that is a late comp tower. A little late. Because there's battles going on. There's infantry fights going on. I mean, these rolls could be a little different. Granted. Caesar. Yo ho ho, the Drake player. 
fighting over here in this combated area, but it seems like this usually falls under the control of Brad. And likewise, this falls under the control of Brad. Green is converging his units over here. Red is not converging, he's just fighting over here and he's doing his own thing. So I like Green's gameplay a little bit more, even though it's kind of weird with the whole airport stuff. But at least he's like fighting in one like strong right front. But now if I'm red, I'm building tankies on this weak side. Maybe a tank over here, and I'm like looping the tank over here, and I'm looping the tank over here so I can like fight off the defense. But I got artillery. Good, build a tank over there. I like that. You don't want to let him walk over you the whole time. He's lying. Just teaser. Yeah. Level those enemies. Income. Tied. 17,000. We're, we're, we're doing pretty, pretty even fine back here. Good start. Getting away with murder over here. Tank's gotta come out over here, I guess. So he can't really interrupt that one. He's good. He's 1050, but... You, you wanna attack into that, get another tank involved as well. Andy will not get the free hyper upgrade as well, so you can't say, Oh, you didn't kill the tank. Like, Andy's just gonna repair him. Not really the case with Drake, because if you want that hyper upgrade first, Drake's gonna come in. Flower. So you better watch out for that. So, uh, Drake, you can't just be using hyper upgrade like Swallow that. Swallow most dead, it's fast. We're not captured, we're taking it over. That's a little scary, I guess. Uh, but I think he's gonna regret that, because he's fighting into the belly of the beast. Very quick reinforcement time. You can build a tank chain here. You can reinforce with this tank what over here. What the heck? Green won't be able to get these properties. See, I wish these tanks came over here, because they're kind of just, like, killing off random little entities on the side. I can't grab them, though. Those are way too dangerous. Force Green to get a tank over here, but then... Congratulations, that's, that's peanuts uh, to this tiny game. So, a little scary over here as well. Looks like Red is too much pressure on this war game. I'm surprised to see a bee pop up this turn. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Call it a prophecy. Okay. Oh, hey. Anyway. Green. Dumb move. Dumb move. Baboon brain. Just don't do that. Don't. Mech's way too defensive. You don't want to do that in mixed base with this formula. Maybe you build a mech over here and it like, goes through the mouth. That's the only since instance I would call back on this map. That's just not. Sorry. Next. Don't do that. But uh and base skip that mech as well. Bad idea. Bad, 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 bad. Should not build a mech, should not a base skip. Red though. Securing an income advantage despite not getting the airport yet. Seems to be he's gonna get that property for free. Look, the max is zero pressure. Artillery would have been even better. Well, you couldn't afford that. But just like anything really. We're giving up that property, and the mech is not going to do jack shit. I can, I can predict it, it's not going to be doing very much. Recon! Getting some uh, useless support up. Recon came down and uh, came to fight these two tanks, I guess. And it's not covered by this tank. Maybe it's going to be covered by this tank. Yeah. So it's going to have a little defense from uh, what's going on. Bringing the artillery. I like what I'm seeing from Red. Bringing those forces together, sensing some scariness. Strong side artillery is by green, I like that. Plop that right over here. Maybe control one of the lavy poos. Maybe get a base lock. I like what I'm seeing by the the strong side artillery. So I'm liking what I'm seeing from uh, some some place. Some of them are very dumb, like the mech. I don't know about this either. I mean, I would have let him have that, and then he would have tank attack, and then you have so many tanks that it's overwhelming. And then you get a tank chain as well. That's just me, though. I mean, it's just this one property. He would only hold it temporarily. I don't think he would be able to Personally. What I've seen. Uh, but, and also, if you're getting this property, like, chill, like, you're just gonna flip some props anyway. And you're gonna get this property as well, like, chill, bur. Anti air? Okay. I don't really like this copter too, too much, uh, to be perfectly honest. I guess I understand that you just defend this thing, but this anti air is gonna cut it off. The anti air is gonna go here next Why? Turn. Of course, the copter oh, goes up or down. Typically, the copters go up because it's easier to do that than to go the long way around and defend, but. We'll see what Steel does with that copy boom. Bringing in the mech. The useless, dumb, stupid, should never have been born mech, so I really mean. Uh, build another copy. We got a copter chain. Uh, you know, well, I'll let it play it out. I don't quite agree with it completely, but okay. We got tank attacking tanks. Don't agree with that. Don't agree with the kind of this tank's gonna kill that tank. Ooh, I kinda like how this artillery is covering these two spots over here, though. That's kinda clever. Uh, but at the same time. Uh, yeah, airport lock, though. Mm. I mean, Steezer's not too upset because he's Drake, but at the same time, Stealthy's... Everyone freaks out about Stealth. Oh, I'm gonna be airport lock, the Stealthy's gonna come for me. The stealth is like tanks worth of damage to your units. It's like the flying tank that costs four times the funds, five times the funds if you build an APC with it, too. It's just so dumb. Don't get me started. People freak out about Stealth. Uh, I'm not scared. Airport lock or whatever. 
I saw a really funny way to solve this that one time, but I forgot how they did it. But it's definitely way faster than I used to do. That's just me personally, though. A lot of people like to freak out about this stuff. Red doing good in the capture game, though. Ahead by 4k in the capture game. Behind on the now. unit count, behind on the unit value, but... Capture game. Doing pretty good. Seems also not fighting over here. Got scared by the artillery. Like, I mean, I understand, because his artillery just blast you. His artillery the range is so You cannot so attack convenient. his artillery from anywhere without getting blasted by the other artillery. Likewise with our other artillery. Good artillery synchronization. I like what I'm seeing from green, so let's keep it up, alright? Uh, except for the coppers. The coppers are a little nice. Like, where are they gonna go now? Up here? Like, I guess so. We'll see what red does. You could probably, like, block the coppers and have it, like, thing up here. No, I guess they could just block Oh, God. That copter's likely gonna go up here, but then, like, the entire can follow. I mean, you can split up your coppers, which is not a terrible idea, but... Yep. We'll see what he does. Very passive tank. I probably would have put the tank on the city over here and would have attacked uh, this infantry and killed it because it would only be attacked by one of these tanks. Uh, so I would have I gotten some damage with that tank rather than having a, such a passive tank right there. This teaser, I mean, despite all that losing the airport, this dumb little move over here, that's why he's behind an income by 4k. That dumb little gambit to get the airport. Ooh, we got it. Let's go. He's coming. Yeah, well, you gave up two damn properties that should have been yours for ages. You're losing 2k every single turn. It's probably been four or five turns. 10k worth of income, like... Don't agree with it. Everyone likes airports. Airports are sexy. Airports are cool. Yeah, I get it, okay? Still, through the new hip thing, I get it. Like it. Like what I'm seeing. You're splitting the airplanes. You know, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing there. Like I said, some of these moves, 1,300, some of these moves, 800, you know, you gotta love it. That's what the user submitted, uh, thing was going on. I'm liking this artillery spam by green, though, okay? I'm liking what I'm seeing from our team. Really good. <laughs> I'm liking what I'm seeing with this artillery spam from green. I, I love this strong side artillery. Maybe he's been watching the vids, maybe he just intuitively just knew what he was doing. Copters, I don't hate it, actually. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. It's gonna have to force another anti air to be built because he's splitting one up here. Probably gonna force an anti air here. It has, it has mixed feelings, so we'll see what he can do with it, but I don't agree with fighting into this because red, red is definitely gonna overwhelm you here. He's gonna kill off this infantry, he's gonna get a shot off the infantry onto that uh, mech, then he's gonna wrap the tank around and kill off the mech. Like, it's just not. We'll see what he can do with it. I mean, even with that tank, I, I wouldn't be scared of red. Look at red to see. Oh, not going for the mech! Oh, I guess he's going after it. Interesting. Um, I don't agree with that. Oops. Okay. He's got a little nestled little soul in there. I kind of like that part. You're going to get hit by the mech, at least. I mean, one of those tanks is dying, but, um... Uh, it's not terrible. You know, I respect the, the artillery zoning. It's not terrible. He's got a tank reinforcement. This tank came in anyway. Why did he put it over here when he could have just gone by... You're gonna bring it in to fight suicide itself anyway, these two artillery. You might as well do some damage before. Now, uh, you gotta do like a medium tank or something. You're gonna get overwhelmed. Bring in some other medium tanks. Hey, yeah, I did it. There we go. That's how it's done. <laughs> bring this tank over here to help the corner. Yes, or you need to that was inefficient and wasted a lot of time, but wow. Tank, it was bring fun. Bring in a medium <laughs> tank. Bring in a. I don't even know. You gotta bring in some big stuff, though. <sighs> Alright, these tanks. I guess he's joined for a base trade. You take my base, I take your base. We're cool, we're cool. I understand. But all that being said, Steezer, still ahead in terms of income. Losing the unit count, or he will be after this turn, I guarantee it. Uh, but all the same, doing pretty decent. Panic and blood moves are too scary. Oh, free head. I mean, it's fine, Kenny, and uh, it, it got through the seams. These two anti right here. This one to get away too? Oh yeah, this one's not gonna hit too. This copter's doing a pretty decent job so far. Still using this copter's pretty decently. Can't hate on that. Can't hate on that at all. Now we got mechs again. I don't, I don't like the mech play. Maybe for sure this one makes more sense because you get the front line a lot quicker than this one. I mean, you saw what happened. Try to get the front line. The mech was scrub. We didn't even make it. Oh nice. Hit. There was not enough infantry walls. I did. Walls. I did. It. About I don't remember. Wild green, <laughs> wild red is you being that you have like strong amount of units, or they're in a mountain, where first strike won't be as much. Steel though, he is he is 
his spirit animal is an artillery. Artillery's aren't animals, but his spirit animal is still an artillery. Look at these artillery. One, two, three, four. Four. Four artilleries. We're at day ten. That's a lot of freaking artillery. All from the strong side too. He's been binging the DJ's videos. He's been he's been watching these videos. Maybe doing some other activities while watching the videos. I'm not gonna comment, but he's been watching the videos, it seems. Um, and uh, loving those, those strong side artillery. Now red is punishing over here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a shitty wall. I mean, that tank's gonna kill that. This tank's gonna kill the artillery, but red is cap over here probably. Actually, no. Kill the tank. Kill the artillery, then this interrupts the cap, so, but then you got this other cap over here, so Steezer, 5k income advantage over here. Losing, losing some stuff, but, uh, well, you know, whatever. Steezer, the old geezer, he's not giving up, now he's building the medium tanks. He senses shit is gonna hit the fan soon. Only 18k, imagine if he still had these two properties, and he had the airport. Well, I don't know if that would have happened in here. But, imagine if he did, he'd be able to actually nice. build some shit out of it. So now... He's, now you build a beacon. Definitely build a beacon for this turn of steel. Definitely. Force an anti-air. Make him stop building medium tanks. Actually, could he have done it last turn? Uh, no, this is the first turn. Oh, build a beacopter here. Why didn't he build a beacopter? Yeah! That would have been like the dagger that wins. You build a beacopter here. He can't build a medium tank. He needs to build an, an anti-air. Because you have two tanks, and then you kill the anti-air. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a knockout blow right there by Steel. Should have built a B-copter right there. I don't know why he didn't. That's so weird. Damn, he could have really done some damage right there building a B-copter. Damn, I'm glad I caught that. That would have been... When you're forcing someone to fight on their weak side, try to throw in some air units so they can't just tack up to medium tanks and medium tanks. They all seem to build anti-air as well, so then it's like, oh, do I build something to beat the copters? Oh, do I build something to beat the tanks? And then there's paralysis analysis, and then you're all over their ass, and then it's g -jizzle. So anyway, missed opportunity. 1050 players. Most people would have done that. I've seen Toulouse do that before. He's overwhelmed with too many units. This copter getting a... No, that copter is within range. That was dumb. Okay, that one at least like threaded the time needle. Time to right do some there. research. But uh, you're gonna get a two hit KO on this. <laughs> that infantry is not. Oh, yeah. Look, killed, kill. Uh, well, that copter, bad, bad copter move right there. And he did like the worst thing possible with these tanks. Should have killed this infantry. Then killed the artillery, then built, I don't know, a medium tank or some shit. Because you're not the tanks aren't gonna overwhelm a medium tank. Give up that property, who cares? However, said he did the worst thing possible. He went to heal with one, and then he went to fight an artillery range with the other. Just uh Baboon Brain. Yeah. And uh and also a little a little bit of a puss little wall over here. You could be pushing that wall further. You could put the artillery here, base lock, put the infantry there, put another artillery, base lock. Put an infantry there. Like, you could have a bunch of stuff right there. Force the base lock earlier. But he's been a little... little limpy. I don't... I don't need the dabble. I just want a little stabble. No, you take that stabby knife. Stab him! Stab him right in the heart! I'm pretty sure there was, like, a That's thing that they recommended. <laughs> yeah, I hope the YouTube... I gotta pee. Take that review from the sightings. Now we got the first Caesar Typhoon. I...
Gan and sleep mod. Huh. Dark Army Resurrection also changes the armors. Unless I used the modular version.
All right. Found it. Ganon sleeps. I'll need to find my graphics packs location. There it is. All right, cool. Walls to protect artillery, but it's 2022. Baboons rule the world and uh, equipment like that. Baboons rule the world and artillery are serving as shields. I guess you wanted to really get this infantry. Okay, maybe just to get some caps early, you know, get some cap in and see what's happening. I get it, I get it. Uh, maybe get refuel that, uh, that team copter as well. Building that is pretty safe over here for now. Pretty safe, breach is pretty safe over here. Not enough pressure over here. If you built maybe a tank over here, maybe an artillery chain, tank chain, that'd be better. But like I said, Steezer, 5k incomplete. Uh, still doing pretty damn good. Although, steel fighting back, gonna get this property. Uh, looks like the only counter attack right now. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Tanks fighting in the corner over there. Two artillery is a lot scarier than one. You gotta make sure that infantry uh, doesn't I'm die. I'm feeling a bit disoriented. I think I'll stop here, actually.